Falcons hosting the Colts, and the Falcons are now two and a half point favorites. The over-under has gone up to 45 and a half. The Colts are plus 120 on the money line, and the Falcons are minus 142. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to kickoff tomorrow. The Colts opened up as a one and a half point favorite, so that tells you all the money is going in on the Falcons for tomorrow. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you could do so by visiting my website, rawsportstalk.com, and clicking on the membership link there or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It's supposed to be Minshew and Heineke, so I don't see anything drastic um, as far as the starters are concerned. And it looks like you know that would cause that kind of swing, but we'll see. Head-to-head, -head, the Colts are 3-1. and one. The Colts are on a two-game winning streak against the Falcons. The road team is 3-1. and one. The favorite is 3-1 and one on the money line and 3-1 and one against the spread. The over-under is 2-2, two and two, and the over-under at 44.5 was also 2-2, two and two, but that extra point did make a difference. The under 45.5 is 3-1 and one in their four meetings against each other. The Colts are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 7-3 and three against the spread. And the over is 7-3 and three in their last 10. They've covered 6 out of their last 7 games, the Colts. There has been a total of 47, 59, 48, and 43 points. They scored 27 points in a 7-point win over the Bucks, 31 points in a 3-point win over the Titans in Tennessee, 14 points in a 20-point loss against the Bengals in Cincinnati, and then 30 points in a 17-point 17 win, 17 win against the Steelers. For the Falcons, they're on a two-game losing streak. They are four and six against the uh, four and six overall, three and seven against the spread, and the under is six and four in their last ten. The under is three and one in their last four. There was a total of thirty-nine points, twenty-one points, fifty-four points, and then fifteen points. No, oh, forgive me, sixteen points, sixteen points. Uh, Twenty-four points and a nine-point win over the Saints. 13 points and a 5-point win over the Jets in New York, 25 points and a 4-point loss against the Buccaneers, and then 7 points and a 2-point loss in Carolina. That was just utterly pathetic, and I was furious because they killed a 3-leg parlay that I had because I was like, there's no way they're going to lose to the Panthers. Lo and behold, they did. I... Don't know why. The, I understand they're home, and I think that's why they're the favorite, but I don't like them in this game. I'm going to take the Colts with the money line. I'm going to take the Colts getting the points, and I'm going to go under for the classic line of we don't know how many points the Falcons' offense is going to score, especially if they only scored seven points against the Panthers. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.